Solidarity really is what links the personal with the institutional in the Erie story. Um, and also links Erie to its mission with refugees. Uh, because the status of a refugee or displacement is, um, is one of vulnerability and therefore one that by definition also imports solidarity. Um, ERI exists to, the, the mission of ERI is defined in terms of helping to protect people who are in situations of forced displacement, which could be internal displacement or displacement beyond the boundaries of your country. I looked at it as an organization that filled an important gap um, in terms of refugee rights advocacy on the continent. Um, being able to look at the continent from a broader perspective and looking at things that are happening in different uh, regions, in different countries on the continent and how those were impacting on human lives from before flights, during flights, rights in exile. You know, um, ERI looks at that continuum all the way to the time when somebody is supposed to attain a durable solution. I've been inspired by looking at the people that started ERI 15 years ago. It's 15 years so far. And I know that the people who started ERI, even though they may not be directly working with ERI, are still there somewhere in the background supporting it. Why? Because the core purpose of ERI is very important to them. It is important to me as well. The dignity of the people, the fact that somebody, just because they do not live in the place that, that is where they were born is, is not something that should take away their importance. Area has always found a way to work on the most interesting, um, groundbreaking work that pushes borders and pushes boundaries. The thing about Erie is that even whatever we did, whether advocacy, research, uh, interpretation of laws, uh, international justice, we, everything we did, we have to have facts first before we could go into explaining it. And that is unchallengeable. We go out, go out there, we go to the refugee settlements, we go to the countries uh, where conflict is happening. Uh, and so I think we can sometimes grasp that reality well. I think one of the things that's really critical to me about Erie is our value of partnership and the way that we've partnered with other organizations. Um, I think it's a core value of the organization to sort of strengthen and build the capacity of the people who are working with us. Erie has contributed a lot to my team since uh, 2013 up to date and now we are a registered organization so uh, all this happened because Erie is passionate into helping my small team to grow. Nous sommes aujourd'hui devenus comme une famille Donc, au niveau de, de Erie ce qui est euh, extraordinairement rare. Euh, très récemment moi j'ai eu un, un bébé il y a juste euh, un mois et demi. Alors quand j'ai envoyé un email pour informer les collègues, mais tout le monde était, était content. Donc ça, ça m'a vraiment touché et surtout dans le sens vraiment très, très positif. Je vois Iri comme un nom central dans les initiatives de déplacement. Je vois Iri comme becoming the ambassador for uh, rights and displacement and the ambassador for um, the humanness of refugees and all the things that go with that. I would like to see this organization um, expand geographically. We have a huge amount of expertise in the Great Lakes region. Um, I think we're really well known within this particular uh, sort of area. Uh, but I think we have a huge capacity. The issues of refugees, of conflict, of displacement, 
um, of lack of accountability, all of the kinds of things that Erie has engaged on are also massive issues in West Africa, in the Sahel region. Over time, with the security, the food security, human security, climate change situation, governance situation, uh, put into a mix is likely to mean that the displacement situation and the security situations in this part of the world will mean we'll need more of Erie. Uh, and it seems to me that the challenge, the immediate challenge and the short, medium term challenge will be for Erie to grow its capacities, um, to grow its resilience and to grow its expertise because what it set out to do will have greater relevance as we go into the next five, ten years of the SDGs um, and of Africa's um, democratization.